Comes, Mika, as Reuters is reporting their indications that some of Clinton's emails are filled with the type of information the State Department automatically deems as classified from the outset, whether marked or not. And of course, Hillary's been claiming all along they never sent anything classified. Of course, David Petraeus uh, charged uh, for uh, for classified uh, information without any markings on it. John Hyland, uh, break down what's on what's happening on the Democratic side. Uh, the the Clinton this Clinton email uh, controversy just keeps growing by the day. Well, they you know, they, they the, the Clinton campaign last week engaged in a self-described, relatively aggressive effort to try to uh, address these issues. So it's the first time they've kind of done that in the course of a week, from Secretary Clinton doing her uh, press avail in Las Vegas uh, to various Clinton um, uh, spokespeople going out and, and doing interviews. Uh, Brian Fallon in a video last week. Uh, they did a call at the end of the week, and I think that at the end of the week they were in a worse place than they had been when they started the week. Yeah, the Detroit in terms of calling for a special. Prosecutor, yeah. you got the Des Moines Register this weekend, really hammering her hard in a way that'll hurt with Iowa voters. And so, so the investigations proceed, and the facts that come out of this Reuters thing is, is I think, again, raises a lot of significant questions. Reuters basically saying that anytime a Secretary of State has a conversation with a foreign leader, um, that becomes, and then to, wants to report back on a private conversation with a foreign leader, that's automatically, according to the State Department, should be called classified. And they apparently, on the basis of their independent um, review of some of the emails that have become public, have seen a number of them that include that kind of information. So yeah. the, question, the, the questions of substance being raised are overshadowing the efforts to try to beat it back, the spin, whether you yeah. call it spin or whatever. The, the, the public relations campaign is being superseded by the progress of the story. Well, a, a, lot of, a lot facts. of it, Mika, is so horrible. The public relations campaign really has depended on people listening to what the Clinton spinners are saying, never reading the newspaper, never never uh, paying attention to any of the news coverage over the past six months and the ignoring of objective facts. Our friend Howard Dean yesterday was on a Sunday show and it was unbelievable what he was saying. It just she none of it true. She didn't break rules. She didn't break not policy. True. I mean, not this true. is a strategy that is uh, basically <clears throat> dependent on people not being smart, which I think is really condescending. Yeah. It, it's. Uh, you know, she did break rules, she did break policy, and they're kind of moving the conversation to whether some were classified or not, and that middle ground, let's back up to whether or not having your own server at your home and then based out of a bathroom in Colorado was policy, was it? Can anyone here at the table tell me well, that she followed policy? Look she, at me in the eye and tell me that she followed well, policy of, and she didn't Of course rules. she didn't. She, of course she didn't. And Willie, we keep going back to the U.N. press conference. What she said at the U.N. press conference, so many of those things have been proven wrong, including classified information. Climate something. They go, well, maybe there's some more. It's classic Clinton where they're, they're, they're trying to parse every, every word. And it's, it's and move it along. just really hurting her.